Hello there, I'm John Tanner, Global Technology Editor for Telecom Asia. We're here at ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok, and joining me right now is John Frederick Boxus. He's the President and CEO of Telenor Group. John Frederick, thank you very much for joining us here. Thank you. Now, uh, Telenor's been quite active in a number of markets in Asia Pacific, of course, and the big one everyone's talking about right now is Myanmar, where you've just gotten an international license. Uh, how big an opportunity is there in the Myanmar telecoms market? I think that the um, telecom sector in Myanmar have some very exciting years ahead of it. Uh, coming to the ITU conference here in Bangkok this week, it's all about connectivity and the benefits that comes with it. And here we have a country that uh, so far have not uh, got its fair share of uh, this technology. And um, in the Telenor Group, we're happy to be one of the winners of an international license. And we're ready to go when the license process concludes, hopefully by the end of this year. Now, given that you're going to be starting off with, uh, or planning to start off with HSPA and LTE, what impact is that going to have on a market where internet penetration is among the lowest in the region, if not the world? For Myanmar specifically, uh, I think there is a difference to this green field compared to uh, other green fields that we have participated in over the 15 years that we've been as the Telenor Group in Asia. Uh, this time, it's mature technologies, mature uh, concepts, uh, most efficient concepts in the industry, uh, which have developed over 15 years that are going to be deployed. And in that sense, voice, SMS, and internet connectivity will come in parallel. So here we will see also the service side that we know from other markets coming in parallel with voice and SMS. Whereas in other markets, we've seen this more sequential. So I think there are many benefits to reap from this from the customers in, uh, and people of Myanmar for also getting this access up front. This is about access to information, access to knowledge. And when you add these uh, things together, you get a phenomenal formula for empowerment, which have, will have a great impact on uh, the development of uh, the Myanmar society. And we're ready to take part in that. Now, obviously, the uh, political situation is uh, a significant factor in Myanmar. And we've seen in markets uh, like India and even here in Thailand uh, that politics can sometimes throw off people's telecoms plan. Uh, is Myanmar even more of a risk, or is it really not much different than other markets in which you've already been operating? To sort of rate the risk factor uh, and compare them, uh, I don't think uh, it does make sense. But there are risk factors in any markets. And at this ITU conference, ITU is specifically putting their eyes uh, and their focus at uh, the different players in this ecosystem. Governments make uh, decisions on spectrum. Governments make uh, decisions on the, tele the ambitions in the telecommunication space in this country. And in Myanmar, these ambitions have been drawn up in the license form. We have responded to that. It's a, uh, it has been a competitive, transparent process. And based upon that, we are now seeing a government that really wants the infrastructure of telecoms to be deployed in the country, thereby also putting frequencies uh, forward, as well as sort of facilitating this. Then we know also that the, the ongoing peace process is a very important part on how Myanmar goes, uh, moves forward. So we wish them whatever luck they need uh, in also coming through that process. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time that we have. So uh, John Frederick Boxes of Telenor, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.